A trip to Calvert is like a trip back in time. It's all original. It's all Victoria. It's also part of the reason the star chef from England has set up shop in town. And it's rather like going on to the set of Gone with the Wind and you're expecting to see Rhett Butler come out on the, on the porch fiercely clutching his ice-cold mint julep. Welcome to Kokomoda, guys. Ken Wilkinson opened up his French bistro and chocolate boutique back in 2008. Its sweet success is putting Calvert on the world map. I call friends of mine in France and they go, we are the Val Cocomoda. Go, like, what? <laughs> in bloody France. That word of mouth has sent Cocomodo's chocolates all over the globe. We've sent them to Hawaii, to Canada, Luxembourg. Luxembourg. I mean, right in the heart of the what's supposed to be chocolate world. Go figure. Kokomoto made Sandy Goss hit the brakes and smell the chocolates. we just come through Calvert. We would not have stopped had it not been for this shop. Uh, it's just a really unique place to, place to visit. And now Calvert's image is changing. No longer a sleepy Texas town with just antiques, Calvert is now becoming the art center of the Brazos Valley. Calvert eventually, over time, with the addition of other artists and craftspeople, will turn into the Taos of Texas. Walking through downtown Calvert is now like walking through a fine arts museum dedicated to Texas culture. A stop in historic Calvert and a stop at Kokomoto. A double shot on our Brazos Valley bucket list.